Azim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Atiyullah, Atiyya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. Alhamdulillah, Allah Azzawajal granted us to enter Zul Qida and the blessings of Holy Qur'an and the month of Zalzala in which what's hidden inside she will reveal, means the earth, the body will reveal its realities with imtahan and testing in life. And tariqah comes to teach that the testing will come, you'll never stop testing but the manners in which you conduct yourself is what the scale of the grade will be. So that in every event and every type of testing Allah reminds the servant that your master Sayyidina Muhammad khuluqul azim that he is of a magnificent character. And in our lives that immensely high status is the symbol for who we should be. So we have the best of exemplars. Others may have movie stars, rock stars, dunya stars which are the pit of the bottom of realities and Allah gave to us the most important star, the star that bright and shines throughout the entire created universes and that Allah by His Divinely Self gives the title to Prophet not only holy companions and Ahlul Bayt but Allah is giving to us, Khuluqul Azeem, you are of a magnificent character. That through all the difficulties and testings of the holy life of Sayyidina Muhammad that to be raised by the status from Allah that your character is beautific. And as a result of this beatific and mighty that azim, that Allah's might and majesty, that your character is of such an immense importance that it opens everything. Where someone's actions and amal may be weak, maybe they're not fluent in a tongue. Maybe they can't do this or they can't do that. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Or maybe they, they haven't learned certain things. But Allah gives to us the secret and the realities of turuqs and tariqahs because they carry that reality. They're inspired from the heart of Prophet It's the path in which they want moral excellence. Others are not seeking moral excellence, others are seeking, I just want to come to Islam, go to Jummah and go home. I don't know why I have to have such amazing character, it's enough that I go for Jummah. But those whom Allah inspires from the heart of Prophet is that maqam al ihsan is to have perfected character in which you see Allah in everything and know that if, if you don't see Allah Allah sees you. This hyper awareness of one day wishing to see the signs of Allah through the heart and the super hyper awareness that Allah sees all my actions. And as a result of those people they're inspired by Prophet that I want for that reality for you. And they embark on a path of tariqahs and paths towards realities. 
And this khuluq and character is the basis of everything, it fixes everything. Whatever deficit we have because external people look and say, there's maybe something from my eyes that's wrong with you people. You do like this, you do like that and, and even their questioning is from bad manners because they don't come to see the whole picture, they take a thumbnail image. You know they have like these videos now, you, you see something, the guy's running and you come to a conclusion, oh he's maybe running because he robbed something. But when they see the whole picture, no somebody's running after him who just robbed something and coming after that person. So it means they judge life by the image or the thought that they had and even in their bad character they make all these horrific mistakes. They render judgment without information, they render judgment without even verifying and as a result the tariqahs come to warn that follow the way of khuluqul azim and that your way is rahmah. You're not a prophet of God to render jahannam upon people because that was only for the prophet of Allah To warn people, hell, you do like that you're going to hell. But all ulama agree that this is the way of rahmah is the only way that is allowed to be taught is by rahmah, is that bring people towards hope and goodness. No doubt in these areas everyone's doing bad, it's a given. You don't have to point out they're bad because this is now khuluqul azim. If the people whom reached this khuluqul azim which nobody can but in their darajats of just being rained upon by good character because you're seeking it out. Prophet is the pinnacle, is the apex. When you understood that I have to run towards this character so that he will be pleased with me, then you be rained upon by that character. If you're not seeking it you don't get it. If you're seeking, no I want khuluqul azim, I want the best of character. Through the worst of conditions grant me the best of character. Then everything comes under this. You can see bad character by the one whom is judging. With little information they judge you, with a few pictures and images they judge you. With not quite understanding the turuqs or a person or a personality they judge you. This is not khuluq al -adhim. And then the good character by the shaykhs of muhabbat these are the real who men, right? Are you searching to be from the who men? Then you have good character, you don't bother anyone, you don't insult anyone, you don't make anyone to feel sad, you don't make anyone to feel insulted, you don't secretly hit people while nobody's watching. Everything is based on Allah sees everything. Prophet sees everything, angels see everything. And I enrolled in a school from the shaykhs of this reality, at least he's teaching it. He must be something on that path. If he's not teaching it Allah knows what he knows or doesn't know, he's not saying anything keeping his lips quiet. If I don't know what's coming through your lips I have no idea what's in your heart. So move your lips so I can understand, do you know this or you don't know this? That's the reason for risalat and nubuwa. they're different realities, right? One has a message to give, the other one comes and clarifies the message that was given. He doesn't have a message to give, he clarifies what was given. But when Allah gives a shaykh that they're inheriting, not the station of staying quiet, is that deliver the message. That Prophet pushing your heart, speak. So when they deliver their message, what you hear from their lips gives you an understanding from their heart. And as a result of speaking from their lips they're teaching the good character, good manners. 
you have good character, good manners. Otherwise if you don't teach people, how would they know that this is what they were supposed to have? So the taruq's foundation was on nisa, give, give advice, continuously give advice on character so that we all can determine what was a good character and bad character. Good character we judge not for we'll be judged. We'll be astonished, why do these people do like this? But don't judge. Until you verified what's their system, why they do like that. And when we govern ourselves with this character, we teach each other to love. So the real human, they have the hay of hidayat and wow of wudud. That I'll address them from wudud. That's why the hay and the wow, how you say ha and wow, depending upon if you're from Pakistan or from Arabia. Because they want to specifically say, this is the hay of Allah, hidayat. But you know that in marifa you have to go through the wow to get to the hay. Because the hay is the, is the gift, right? In who, in the secret of who, you have to come from wow. Because you always come from the left side to go to the right side, to get to the target. So what's there is a wow. You can't get hidayat this reality without wadud, right? That's why you can't be nafsa amara, you can't be nafsa shawarma, nafsa lawama, they're not at wadud. Only at nafsa al mardiyya and radiyya, in which Allah says, I love you, you love me, come back unto me and everything is about love and Allah dressing and blessing and filling the servant from his divinely oceans of love. Because why? Allah granted them wadud. They attained a rahmah and then we gave them knowledges, hidayat. They attained a rahmah. Which was uh, the people of Ashab al Kaf in Surat al Kaf about Sayyidina Khidr. That Nabi Musa wanted to reach one of these human that they stand at La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah where two rivers meet from La ilaha illallah hey, wow, mim, humma, Allah, humma. Rasulullah. It's a connected phrase. Those servants sit at that gate. Sayyidina Khidr is just one of them, not all of them. That's why Allah clarified, from one of my servants of the who. And their whole way was to attain the rahmah. How can you attain mercy? If you don't show mercy, how can you not overlook the faults of people and find only the fault within yourself? It's not my job to find the fault of people and expose them, it's only my job to find my fault and to help everybody else. They're like this, they're like this. They're, of course they're all like that, that's why Allah sent them to me. If they were all fixed they wouldn't need a shaykh. They would be sitting at home being shaykhs too. It's a hikmah. Washing machine needs dirty clothes. Dirty clothes needs washing machine. If no dirty clothes, washing machine business out of business. There's no need to wash. If they create one day a clothes that will never get dirty, like a soul that will never be tarnished, like in paradise, what they gonna need machine and washing for? They are in need of each other. So anyone who posted, we are don't need anyone, I don't need you, I don't need your money, I don't need anything from you, then what are you in the business of? Guidance needs people to be guided. A guide needs students. And the student need the guide. It's a relationship of love and respect. 
Prophet <laughs> needed companions. Otherwise you would be very lonely Prophet. And who would you be speaking to? And who would you be revealing to? And the holy companions they were in need of Sayyidina Muhammad So this is obvious. These guides from this reality Allah dresses them with wow because of khuluqul azim. So not everything round is this reality, not everyone is from this reality. It's not like a, a, a cookie stamp where Allah just sits and stamps everyone the same reality, same reality, everyone come out. No. And all their teachings are maybe different to people. They think it ajeeb. The way people teach like that, don't know how you teach, what you teach, why you don't want to teach. But we teach from what has been told to us to teach. And to teach people that the human they represent Divinely Love and they disperse Divinely Love based on character. Because how can you reach love if you don't have good character? Can you imagine somebody beating and slapping people and saying, I love you? That's horrific. They, they, they torture you with love which would be the worst punishment from Allah the one whom uses love in violence and aggression. So they don't match, the two are not of any ocean of truth and falsehood are completely different. So under khuluq al Allah enrolls them, not all, some, come and be inspired to perfect your entire character. As we crush you and smash you and shake you and bake you so that to perfect your character. So that in every condition you have to come out with love, you have to have tolerance in love because love demands your patience and tolerance. Hate demands immediately retribution, it's the opposite of love. Hateful person, you wrong them, they take you down in five minutes. They'll come after you if they have to and they don't stop. You see them like on videos, the, the traffic violation, the person honks, now the guy's coming after the guy until he's going to grab him and they have to call 911, there's a car following him, he doesn't leave. That's not a loving servant. That's why then the imtihan, that's why the khuluq al Allah said, I have to crush you, I have to smash you, I have to cook you and bake you and flip you in every type of direction. So if you train under these who men, not all men are who men, maybe some are angry men, <laughs> different character. Not everyone comes out from the same school, same way. So it means that when you do train with one of these who men, their emphasis is on adab and character. And the knowledge that they dispense gives you an understanding of, of character. If they don't teach you anything, what is good character and bad character? Isn't everything they're teaching? Do like this, don't do like that. Do like this, don't do like that. You go up in your elevator, don't go down. Sit on this chair, not on that chair. Don't let shaitan to ride you and th this is all their teachings. So that how to have good character and how to inherit from Allah they attain the rahmah. Means that you receive the nazar of Prophet Unzur halana ismaqala how do you do that? Because all awliya were asking for that. Unzur halana wa ishfalana that please gaze upon me and Prophet for these servants and those types of training have good character. We're not looking to make sure that you're hefs and you know this and you know that. Just have good character. Ittaqullah wa alimukumullah Allah will teach you. I want to see good character from you. In every condition, be humble, be soft, be loving, be patient, harm no one. Even the enemies who keep coming against you, stay quiet. 
And as a result they begin to receive that wow from Prophet because Allah is looking that if Prophet eyes are not reaching you, Allah's Rahmah is nowhere to be found for you. You understand the secret then? Allah's Rahmah is in moving Prophet eyes because this is the Rahmatan lil alameen. So when the holy nazar of Prophet by command of Allah that Allah is happy, Prophet happy with the conduct and it's continuous lifelong process. Then what happens? Like an immense, what would you describe? Like radar lights that that nazar comes and begin to dress you from wadood. Because the beatific lights of Prophet you gain that nazar, so their whole life is that nazar. And as a result of this ishq and muhabbat they become very loving, caring, soft people. Many people talk bad about them, they don't need to defend themselves. Many people try to backbite them, they don't need to defend themselves. They just continue doing what Allah Prophet and awliyaullah want them to do. And as a result of this beatific character Allah begins to throw their soul into the oceans of hidayat and guidance. Why? Because now with that unzul khalana their soul is being dressed by the holy face of Prophet That when that holy face looks at them, Alim al-Qadir, Alim, Prophet's breath dresses them, knowledge is coming. Allah, Prophet breathes upon them, power is coming. Sami al Basir that from Prophet give to them from his holy hearing, they hear. Prophet give to them again from his holy hearing because they hear, they see. From the holy eyes of Prophet nur and hayat come out that it begins to look at them and Sifat and nur begin to dress them. From the other eye Bahrul Hayat begin to dress them. Al Muqtadir begins to dress from the forehead of the light of Prophet Wajik al Kareem This is the Kareem because you're astonished that from what Allah gave of these lights, this actually Prophet is giving to people. This is Kareem, not that you got five bucks from somebody. The generosity is the immense bounty of the lights of Prophet And then Allah describes these rijal that they feed you for the sake of that holy face. But wajah Allah, but their adab is, is wajah al kareem, is the face of Prophet But then who is the face of Prophet It's the face of Allah right? Because if you look at the holy face of Prophet and his soul is shining through you with these attributes, Prophet is no longer there. So what, what is looking at you? That's the hadith al-Qudsi that we had a few nights ago that, I will see through your seeing, you'll see through my seeing. Means that holy face, that holy hadith opens then Allah saying, who's looking at you? I'm looking at you, I'm hearing you, I'm seeing you. I'm breathing into you, I'm speaking through you, Ya Rabbaniyoon, I hear through you and you ask me and kun fayakun it will happen. 
means the immensity of the ocean of realities towards this holy Divinely face in which it dresses the servant, makes a category of servants that reach to this face to be dressed by this face. And then Allah describes, they feed you for the sake of that face. It's not the money you give them that will shine their nazar upon you. That's just a secondary benefit that comes because all of the dunya is under their command. If they ask from Allah He send money from the skies, under their feet will be gold. It's not hard for them, this is the filth of dunya. But why they're really doing it was to be in the presence of the holy face that sustains them. For if one day the face closes its gaze upon them, they can no longer hear Allah They can no longer see what they were seeing. They can no longer breathe their breath, better they be dead at that moment and go back to the earth so to regain that state. They're not going to sacrifice that for anything on this earth. Not anyone tell them come or tell anyone to tell them stop. They do what they do because of the Divinely face that Allah dresses that servant. And as a result Allah describes them, they feed you for the sake of the face of Allah Those are very few category, that's when everybody does that. And then you have to be, to eat at their table, yateem, miskeen, asir, what else? Four, miskeen, yateem. Asi, captive, Asi, captive is three, it's three, I don't know I thought there was a fourth, no? We'll f- think of a fourth, right? So it means that you have to be at the table what? Miskeen, faqir billahi ta'ala means that you don't think anything you have makes you of any importance. Doesn't mean you're going to be poor but you don't have an importance in the presence of that. Allah can have given the whole world to you but in the presence of that reality is nothing, it's nothing. And all their life they train to be miskeen. Because Allah Qani, that the wealth and trade and business doesn't make them to be arrogant to think that they no longer need the Divine the Presence or they bought their way into paradise. They know Jahannam is just waiting so it doesn't affect their hearts. Yateem because they're cut from everyone, family ties, no family ties, nobody understood them. Their only family is the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad and whom loves Prophet they love. Whom doesn't love Prophet they have nothing to do with. Asi that they came as a captive, not with their own will do whatever they want. And these are in other talks we have all of these. This all goes into the the bounty of these servants, that's their training. When you when you find one of these women, they are under that discipline. Not anyone can tell them do it differently because Allah is commanding for them. Make sure the servants understand that they are captives. What does that mean? Means that to surrender their will, not to use their will in this process, not to use your brain in this process, it will get you nowhere. You can sit for 30, 40 years on the carpet like that. But those who want to achieve, we described in many talks, what's the greatest gift that you can give to Allah Your will. Say, Ya Rabbi I'll give my will like Sulaiman of Farsi. He entered Medina as a captive, sold himself to a priest, sold himself to a rabbi, sold himself into service. 
until finally he decided with all his wealth he had attained and all his years of service he's going to go now to Medina to Munawar to meet Prophet and Allah had the caravan steal all his money, tied his hands up and he entered into Medina to Munawara as a captive, as an exemplar of Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah because we're inheriting from this chain that enter to Prophet's presence as a captive in which you wanted to surrender your will to the will of Allah And in your heart you're miskeen that you know there's no wealth that will take you away from Allah There's no arrogance in the pursuit of that. You're yateem, you've been cut off from everything. And as a result those are the only characteristics of the students that can eat from their table. Can you change now this system of that shaykh? You can talk all you want, I don't like the way you do like this, do like that, do like this. What, what is it going to do? Allah is describing the system. Those servants whom feed you from Divinely Face, what do they feed you? They only accept these category of students. Only the students whom are coming to surrender their will. Means then what? You have to teach them manners and adab and, and don't put your will into the process. Surrender your will for the will of Allah Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make yourself to be yateem means you recognize everyone's cut off, who cares? The more friends you have, the more problems you have, the more they want to take you away from Islam. So it means the, you can't change Allah's system for that type of servant. Then Allah said, they're going to feed you these people whom they take from Waj Allah. And what they feed you? What could they possibly feed you? Literally feed you like they're giving you kebabs every weekend? No, they give you knowledge because the food of all eternity is ilm. So how can one of those Waja Allah's servants not talk? That would be an empty table and Allah's bounty is generous, doesn't take from anyone, doesn't empty anyone's heart. Oh you talk so much now the heart is empty, I got nothing else to say because then on heavenly side means they ran out. Like a hot water machine that was very old, you use too much hot water, it's finished now for this week. The table has to be full, it's coming from heavens. Allah's promise is that you'll be eating from that table, from the servants of Wajallah, um, their fee is from Allah who sustains them with the holy face of Sayyidina Muhammad we pray that Allah give us more and more understanding <clears throat> and that not everything is the same. But the category of these different people, they have a responsibility from Allah from Prophet and it's already written in Holy Qur'an the system that has to be endowed upon people. They have to be able to come to the way, learn the manners of the way and they have to be sustained by the sustenance of heavens. And as a result their souls become fuluqul mashkhoon. The souls that hear these knowledges they become loaded ships, loaded that they're sparked, filled with lights. Why? A day is coming when these dajjals open what they want to open. But these loaded ships they're like uh, laser beams coming from their eyes because their souls are filled with knowledges and realities. And as a result of the soul being filled they wait for only a command from Allah in which He illuminates and activates that face. What could stand in the presence of that face? with all its might and all its majesty. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.